Last week, Dr. Nan Nutt testified that on April 18th, she began her walk on the Marsh Loop Trail in Concord around 2.48 that afternoon, as noted by her iWatch. She provided me written consent to take possession of her phone and to use some forensics equipment to extract or remove or copy that location data related to that particular walk. Concord Police Detective Wade Brown used GPS coordinates and information from Dr. Nutt to mark the time when she interacted with Stephen and Wendy Reed around 2.50. Nan Nutt's location data is the yellow thumbtacks, and then I've added a point in green up here, which is where um, we believe that the Reeds passed Nan Nutt. At 2.59 p.m., Nutt arrives at the location where investigators say Stephen and Wendy were murdered. The yellow um, thumbtacks are Nan Nutt's location data points, and then these two points are the uh, the location data for that I obtained um, for the bullet fragment as well as the victim's bodies. Surveillance video shows the Reed's accused killer, Logan Clegg, at a nearby Shaw's off Loudon Road at 2.28 p.m. Using his own watch for reference, Detective Brown timed himself walking from Loudon Road through a footpath under power lines to the crime scene on the Marsh Loop Trail. How long did that walk take you? Overall, uh, it took about 12 minutes. Now, it's important to note that as of right now, we do not know where Logan Clegg went after he left that Shaw store. The defense says the timing of all this will show that he is innocent. They'll have a chance to question Detective Brown during cross-examination tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Concord, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.